Hey, what's up everybody? Today is Thursday, so that means we are going to be taking a movie from my collection and making a poster out of it. Today I'm feeling something just kind of like a nice layering of different imagery uh, that represents things from the movie. So uh, hopefully the randomizer will pick a good movie for that. Before we get started, please remember to hit like and subscribe and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future content. Now let's head over to the randomizer. All right, I've got all of my movies loaded onto my clipboard, so let's go ahead and pick a movie. Downton Abbey, the complete series. Okay, so this is actually for the TV series, Downton Abbey. So let me go grab that. All right, so here it is, Downton Abbey, the complete series. Um, definitely one of our favorite TV shows. My wife and I love it, and we're also caught up on the on the movies. Totally caught up now. Um, highly recommend it if you really if you really like British stuff. But then also, uh, make sure that you're not on your phone while you're watching it because all of the humor and, uh, and and so many of the of the plot lines and everything, all of the subtext, it's very very subtle. So um, you know, just make sure that you're not on your phone when you watch it. Okay, so I think that for what I'm thinking of putting together. Together, uh, I think Downson Abbey is the perfect subject matter for it. So let's go over and head into Illustrator. Okay, so for what we're doing today, I've done some similar layouts before, and it's actually a very simple layout. So let's just kind of set up the layout right here. The two inch margin, I think I'll just go, uh, go with that nice and classy. That fits the show very well. And probably about six inches or so wide. And then what we're gonna do, basically, so what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of doing like a, a structure, you know, just kind of structuring the poster and everything. So, and this is really just to kind of show you a visual. The poster will not be yellow. Okay, um, so there's gonna be an image here, like for the background, and then an image here that kind of overlaps and everything. And we want these, we want these two images to be kind of like, um, like a very broad, um, representative of the uh, of the series itself and then we're really just kind of let the type just kind of speak for itself so one of my favorite uh fonts uh, i don't know if i've even used it on this channel before but it is it's an adobe font and let me clear all of my filters here here we go okay um this is forma uh, djr and this is actually a really nice font um and I will probably go with like the text uh, bold version right here. So let's go ahead and throw our type in. And I'm definitely gonna do two different lines right here. And let's get our type together. And um, from this point, I'm just gonna play around with some type. I'm gonna play around with some uh, imagery and just kind of look for stuff. So I'm just gonna speed this up. Um, and whenever I feel the need to come back, I will. All right, so what I've put together here is just kind of, it's more of like a classic designed poster where you actually have some, you know, kind of like a collage of imagery right here. Um, however, I've got a little bit of, um, got a little bit of oversaturation uh, with the colors. So that I think what I'm gonna do is apply like an overall desaturation uh, to the entire image itself. And just bringing it down to like a negative 50 really, really does uh, uh, classy it up. Um, a, a little bit, so I'm thinking I'm probably just got to stick uh, to about right there. And then I will add 
a grain layer on top of this. And I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to represent necessarily. I'm just like, like while I was working on it, just kind of envisioning it as almost being an advertisement for Downton. Um, <laughs> but I don't really know how... Uh, uh, how, how realistic that is, um, necessarily, but uh, I think I'm probably going to go in here and change this, uh, hard light blending layer to something that's a little bit more subtle. Like I'd like to, I'd like for it to just maybe even be like, like a normal one and then just kind of something like this much better that, that way. So, um, so, uh, when I was looking for imagery here, it was actually kind of difficult, <laughs> um, to uh, find images that really, uh, that really represented, uh, Downton Abbey well. So I just decided to go with High Clare Castle. So I just wanted to do something where it was, you know, uh, a little bit more on the obvious side for something like this. Okay. So this right here, you know, like a lot of people would say, well, you've got so much space right here, you know, and, and it's true. I do have a lot of space, you know, you could easily fill this up with text or e even some different imagery and everything, but I really like the, the classiness of it and, and, and like the, the use of white space. You see so many uh, posters out there that are using, you know, like they'll have like a huge or even like a small block of type or something like that. And the rest of the poster is literally white. <laughs> so it's kind of, it's, uh, it's kind of what I was going for, but you know, this, Sorry, excuse me. This could easily be used for something, you know, like, um, you know, posters that are like you're walking down the street or something like that. Um, so anyway, I, I think overall it's really cool. Uh, it's, it's been a while since I've actually done one of these, so I'm a little bit rusty. Um, I may actually pick it up and do something else uh, for, a, for a different poster sometime. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching me create that Downton Abbey poster. Such a fantastic show. Highly recommend it. Just don't be on your phone while you're watching it, or you'll miss all of the subtle humor. Well, prepare yourself for the worst. Please remember to hit like and subscribe, and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all new content. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.